14th of July, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along. A couple of things have changed. Uh, put a new light up in the grain store. And that's mainly come about because I've had to install some new lights into the kitchen. So I've recycled the old ones. Um, the Classic 1000 appears to be no leaky leaky anymore. So these two heat dumps, well I'm going to hold on to these because at some point I'm going to need them. But it's good because that means that the car radiator heat dump that I made, she still works outside. But uh, I ordered these because they've got such a long lead time on them. I thought I'd better get some in stock because if one of these goes down and I don't have a spare heat dump, then that unit is down. So I'm going to hold on to them. It's not a bad investment. Money sat on the shelf, I know, but probably a wise thing to do. We still have the Vic Secret Simcoe American IPA to come out of this FE at some point. And I have broken down, I think I showed you the other day, a soap tank. If not, I apologise, that's the tank that I used. Filled it up with hypochlorite, just plastic job. And then I laid all the long pipe work in there, took all this pipe work apart, laid it to soak, and it's come out absolutely gleamingly sparkly. And then what we've done is fill the uh, FE, well not fill it, but add to the FE some hypochlorite. And you'll see from the pipe work, we've been back flushing the plate heat exchanger, which I tend to do on a regular basis, but it's not been done for a while, so it's had an extremely good clean. I'm reluctant to take it apart because I uh, don't want to cause any problems in reassembly. I did take the pump apart, however, and it was leaking, so I took it apart to service it, and the hard face seal was cracked. So I'm having to get a quote for a new pump, for a hygienic pump, it's come back at about two and a half grand, which is way out of my price bracket. So I've been speaking to a couple of other pump suppliers. Hopefully I can get that price down by half, or fail that, I go for an Ibarra pump, which is similar to this. Not hygienic rated, but suitable for hot side, and they will come with hard-faced seals you don't want the high temp seals, you need the hard faced seals and the hard face seals come with high temp gaskets anyway, or o-rings anyway. Uh, but that's to withstand the corrosive nature of hot wort as it calls it crystallizers and those crystals can damage the seals so hard face seals for any hot side work pumps. Little bit of a tip for you there. Again, been breaking everything down. Everything's been having a good clean. We've still got beer in the tanks. Don't know if I introduced you to our new CE rated scales. I think I did. So that's for the hops and weighing out uh, when we're doing the can filling. And then I've also got this bad boy floor standing job. Nice bit of kit actually. Not cheap, but nice bit of kit. Uh, all the cold rooms seem to be working. This one sat at 10 degrees, it should be at 5. So we'll investigate that in a moment. I can't imagine that there's been an ice up because the tank is sat at minus 1. So I don't think that's cold enough to ice up the, um, the secondary cooling in the cold room. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <clears throat> so we've got beer in tanks as I said this stuff's all going to start coming out this week so I need to get ready to gear up and brew again raspberry sour in here this is ready for a dose of um, finings I think I need to add some finings into here I could have done it all actually uh, it's had brown salt it's had adjunct well we'll just chill it then so we're going to turn this down and this tank we're going to try and get as close to about 4 degrees as possible usually they stop at about about 5, 5.7 that one's on 6.5, 6.7, you get the idea it is warm in here anyway so that's why it tends to stop like that 20 degrees in here today Right, so we've now just put some hypochlorite 
into the mash tun. And the reason for that is we are going to be cleaning the tannin stains off the mash tun false bottom. So I'm just hooking this pipe up there. We'll open this and if I just show you from the side you see there's a little staining you can see where I've scratched it there look so that is the uh, the tannin stains essentially off of the grains and the wort so we'll turn the mash pump on and that should recirculate hypochlorite eventually there she goes Maybe I just need to angle these down a touch because they need to push up slightly as well as back. There we go. Come on, you pig. And then, uh, yeah, eventually when I get this bad boy going, that should then clean all those tannin stains off of there. I'm not going to fiddle about with it now one-handed. I'll get covered in hypochlorite. And then once that's done, we'll rinse this out. That'll be the boil kettle and the mash tun. Both had hypochlorite treatment then we'll give them a quick blast with acid to repassivate because the hypochlorite is, contains chlorine which can damage stainless steel just in case you didn't know that and then we're ready to start brewing and we can start probably brewing this week or next I'm not too sure uh, next thing we'll do I think we'll probably go into the pub and have a little bit of a look-see in there So I'm expecting a booker's delivery at any moment, uh, as you'll see, flower beds looking rather nice, we've got some beautiful colour coming, this bit still needs a little bit of work, and then we've also picked this little kind of outdoor storage thing up, just for fruit and veg deliveries that come before anyone's here in the morning, because sometimes they drop them rather early, and that'll just keep the uh, wild animals off, any birds or anything like that, it'll keep them away from the produce until we arrive an hour or so later. Right, let's get in to the back door here and let's have a walk around. So, our compressor, welcome to the stockroom, our compressor has been playing up I had to totally rebuild it last week. I don't know if I got any video of that actually, because it's one of these. Quite a few things have happened, and I just haven't had time to pull the camera out. So I had to take the head off, take the cylinders out, put new gaskets in there. Uh, the camshaft is slightly worn, and it's grabbing hold of the the uh, the pistons on the bottom of the cam, uh, the cams on the bottom of the pistons, the conrods, and. Uh, Quite frankly, bless her, she's got miles on the clock, ain't going to last too much longer, so we're going to have to replace that soon. We've got this in here as backup, but this duty cycle on this one is nowhere high enough, so it can't keep up. Just some dry stock in here, as you can see. Shall we have a look in the cellar, proper? Oh, nice and cool in here. So we've got all the beer. Oh, and I noticed that they've left the taps on, which is a naughty. So whoever's closed up last night has fucked up there. Um, but they should be closed just in case a pipe pops off overnight. It prevents you losing all your beer to the floor. Doesn't matter that it's open in other other than that respect. A uh, bit of can stock on the side. Some interesting stuff. Burning Sky Devil's Rest. Some Polly's IPA. And of course some Harrison's Brewery beers and then in here <clears throat> we've got our cider and our uh, post mix uh, some cabbage for the chickens which is uh, no good that's from Sunday lunch so that's spent we'll get rid of that today take it for the chickens bit of keg stuff everything's looking nice and clean the walls are clean no sign of any mold anywhere this area, rough paint, no product really goes in there, that's not a problemo. But I think everything's looking tip bloody top. So let's go back, let's go back through 
and have a little walk up the stairs into the kitchen and see how things are getting on there. What we've got. So one of our locals has dropped off some uh, beetroot for me from his allotment which I'll be enjoying today or tomorrow probably. Right up we come, here we go, top of the stairs, not much to see, look at the light, brand new fly zapper, and then if I turn the lights on, now that is bright, brand new baton, brand new baton, these are the built in LEDs from Tool Station, which I was a little bit concerned about because you can't change the tubes if they go you have to change the whole fitting but they come with a three year warranty so let's hope that they can back that up as you can see I had to install that extractor up there because it's goddamn warm in here 28.8 degrees and that is because that's a fire door that's a fire door and that's a fire door and what was happening was people were leaving these propped open at night to keep the kitchen cool which of course could be dangerous so I decided to install some ventilation because all the heat coming out of these two units here and this one need taking out of the room, hence the little extractor up there on a temperature, on an STC 1000 basically. So everything's looking cushy up here. Let's have a walk through, I'm ignoring that telephone by the way. Who thinks they can ring a pub at bloody 10 o'clock in the morning and get an answer? It's not spoons. Uh, right, let's have a walk through. Everything's looking spick and span. We did have a cleaner on. Unfortunately, she's got other things going on and uh, she wasn't reliable enough. So we've had to let her go and we're actively seeking another cleaner at the moment. It's Gemma look just arriving. Um, I don't, don't think you needed to know that, but just in case you wondered what these notices were in the window, one of them saying, please deliver to the back. The other one saying, cleaner wanted two hours a day. Uh, yeah, there we are, look. All the taps laid out drying overnight after they've been washed. Merch. Here we go, boys and girls. Get yourselves to the website. We now have all this merch available on the website. As well as, you'll be pleased to know, the raspberry sour is on there. The Leafs a bitch beer which is the Galaxy Amarillo vacant gesture kind of thing and then we've also got uh, Weed Hatch which is another new beverage on the website so jump on get yourself a four pack some interesting beers and some fantastic merch available harrisonsbrewery.com I don't think I've told anyone about that yet we are gonna be removing all restrictions on the 19th of July as per Doris Nonsense announcement uh, yesterday so uh, whilst we're still going to keep table service and if people want to wear face masks including the staff that's fine by me I frankly can't wait to get back to normal and that's going to coincide with the launch of our summer menu which will be interesting anyway I'm going to scuttle out and uh, go and speak to Jem size of these birds now. So these are the chicks that we hatched out at the start of the year, the Rhode Island Reds. They're rather handsome girls. Bantam's still kicking it. One of them is always broody, aren't you me duck? Always. <laughs> 